In this video, we are going to look at adding a parity bit to determine an error. But before we delve into the topic, what exactly is an error detecting code? We know digital systems transmit data in the form of zeros and ones. And let us say I want to transmit this binary word 1000111. And while the transmission was taking place, one of the ones probably came out as zero or probably one of the zeros came out as one. And this is what we call an error. And we have codes to detect these errors and these codes are called error detecting codes. Some of these error detecting codes include parity, block parity, binary ring counter and so on and so forth and these are the codes that are used to detect the error and now we are going to look at the easiest method that is available to us for detecting an error in this method we add something called the parity bit there are two types of parity odd parity and even parity a parity bit is basically an extra bit that is set at the transmission side to either 0 or 1. Let us say I am transmitting the binary word 1010110. Now what would my parity bit be when I'm using even parity and when I'm using odd parity? It all boils down to the number of ones that we have in our binary word. Here we have 4. When I'm using even parity, my parity bit here would be zero. Why? Because when we use even parity, the total number of ones in the binary word has to be even. And as you must have rightly inferred by now, if I'm using the odd parity, the number of ones has to be odd, which means in this case, my parity bit would be one because only then the number of ones would be five, which is odd. Let us take a look at how it works. Here in the transmission side, I am using odd parity. So when we receive this binary word, it is going to check for the number of ones in the binary word. If the number of ones is even, an error is detected because I have used odd parity, which means the number of ones has to be odd. And since it is even, an error is detected. In the same way as you must have already inferred, if I'm using an even parity, the number of ones has to be even. So at the receiving side, if the number of ones is odd, an error is detected. Now let me quickly write down a couple of BCD words, a couple of binary words, and then let us see what parity bit we have to add to this word if we are using an odd parity and if we are using an even parity. Let us look at the first word. We have one, two, three and four ones, which means the number of ones is already even. So my odd parity bit would be one so that the total number of ones is five. However, my even parity bit would be zero because the number of ones is already four. In the second word, we have one, two, three, one. So my odd parity bit would be zero and the even parity one. And similarly for the third one, my odd is zero and even is one. And the next one, we have four ones already. So the odd one would be one and the even would be zero. One, two, three, four, five, six ones, which is even. So my odd would be one and my even would be zero. So just remember guys, the basic thumb rule is when we are using odd parity, the parity bit that we add should make the entire number of ones in the binary word as odd. And when we are adding an even parity, the total number of ones should be even along with the parity bit. This is the thumb rule. We have talked about both odd and even parities by now, but what is the difference? Why do we use one thing over the other? Have you ever thought of it? The working of both odd and even parities is absolutely same. We add the parity bit at the transmission end and the circuit at the receiving end checks for the parity and detects the error. Absolutely same principle. But what is the preferred parity and why? 
Well, the odd parity is given more preference. The reason being, if there is a short circuit, the receiving end would receive a binary word of all zeros. And then, when an even parity check is done, the number of ones in this binary word is still even, so no error is detected. Hence, the odd parity is given more preference. So what is the drawback when we use this error detection code? The problem is the odd or even parity check can only detect if there is a single error in the transmission. Which means if a 1 is changing into 0 or if a 0 is changing into 1 but only a single error. However, if there is a lot of noise Instead of just a 1 changing into a 0 or 1 0 changing into a 1, multiple bits could get altered and it is in these cases that this system fails. Finally, I would like you all to jump on a quick exercise and check for yourselves in which of these following binary words would an error be detected when I am using an odd parity and an even parity check. I'm gonna write down a couple of binary words on both sides for odd and even parity checks. If you would like, just give the video a quick pause and check for yourself. While using the odd parity, the second binary word would give an error because the number of ones in this word is even. And while using the even parity bit, none of these would produce an error because in all the cases, the number of ones is even. And while using the odd parity, the first and the third will not give any error and will be passed because the number of ones is odd. So that is all I had for this video guys. If you have an exam coming up, I wish you all the very best and hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.